the impulse response of a linear time invariant system is h of n is equal to 1 2 1 minus 1 determine the response of the system to the input signal x of n which is 1 2 3 1 here, here this arrow mark indicates the zeroth sample that is this is zeroth sample this is first sample second sample and this is minus 1 here arrow mark is not shown it means the zeroth sample is here this is first one second one and this is third one so we know that this is a LTI system the impulse response of this is h of n the input given is x of n we need to find y of n so here the length of h of n is 4 length of x of n is 4 therefore the length of y of n that is length of output sequence will be length of y of n will be 4 plus 4 minus 1 this is the formula which is equal to 7 that is length of output sequence will be 7 now let's see what is the range of or what is the range of the output sequence here the lower value lower range of h of n is minus 1 here it is 0 that is minus 1 plus 0 is minus 1 2 the, the upper range is 2 here the upper range is 3 so 2 plus 3 is 5 the range of y of n varies from minus 1 to 5 that is range of y of n is varies from minus 1 to 5 first let me represent x of n and h of n in a graph so here let this be x of n and here we have 0 1 2 3 that is 0 1 2 3 the samples are values are 1 2 3 1 that is say 1 2 3 and this is 1 that is 1 2 3 1 let me assume this as h of n and here 0 sample is 2 that is at n equal to 0 the value is 2 at n equal to 1 it is 1 at n equal to 2 it is minus 1 minus 1 and at n equal to minus 1 value is 1 at n equal to minus 1 it is 1 the next step is we know that the convolution between x of n and h of n is given by y of n is equal to summation k equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k h of n minus k this is the formula used to find the y of n so here the next step is we have to represent the next step is we have to represent x of k and h of k x of k is obtained just by replacing n by k let this be x of k and let this be h of k so here x of k is nothing but x of n replaced n is replaced by k so this will be k here we have 1 2 we have 3 and here we have 1 that is 0 1 2 3 and here it is same that is 0 at 0 the value is 2 at 1 the value is 1 at 2 value is minus 1 and at minus 1 value is 1 the next step is we have to get h of n minus k h of n minus k is obtained by taking reflection of h of k let this be h of n minus k which is obtained by taking reflection of this reflection means the right side sample will appear on left side and left side sample will appear on right side so at 0 we have 2 and at 1 it will appear on right side at 1 the value is 1 and at minus 1 the value is this is 1 and at minus 2 it is minus 1 h of n minus k now according to this formula the first step is now we have to consider n equal to 0 if you take n equal to 0 it will become h of minus I can write for n equal to 0 as I said the range of n varies from minus 1 to 5 let me take n equal to 0 first for n equal to 0 here it will be h of 0 minus k h of 0 minus k is same as this signal so let me write the same signal h of minus k i'll write it as 
zero minus k, which is same as h of minus k, h of minus k. It is same as this signal. That is, here we have the amplitude at this is two. At one, it is one. At minus one, it is one. And at minus two, it is minus one. So now we have to perform the as according to this formula we have x of k is multiplied with this. So now for n equal to zero, now we have to multiply this signal with x of k, x of k and this signal we have to multiply. That will be our n equal to zero sample. That is, y of zero will be equal to here at n equal to zero value is one, n equal to zero value is two. That is one into two plus at n equal to one value is two. That is two into at n equal to one value is one. So further here at two and three signal exist, but here there is no signal. Values will be zero. Now come on at n equal to minus one. So here at n equal to minus one value is zero. At n equal to minus one here it is one. So it will be zero. So only remains these two samples. That is two plus two, which is equal to four. So y of zero will be equal to four. Now consider n equal to one, because n varies from minus one to five. So now for n equal to one, n equal to one means we will get it as h of one minus k. H of one minus k is obtained by shifting this signal towards right by one position. So let me shift this. So at zero, this sample will appear. So zero, we have one, we have two, and here it is minus one. So this will appear at my this side. Here it will be minus one. Then this will be here. This is two, and this is one. So this is h of one minus k. Now again we have to multiply h of one minus k with x of k. So at n equal to zero, it is one. Y of one will be equal to one into n equal to zero. It is one plus at n equal to minus one. Its value is zero. Here it is minus one, but it will be it will become zero. Now at n equal to one, here value is two into at n equal to one. Here it is two. Now at n equal to two, its value is three, but here at n equal to two, its value is one. That is three into one. Now at n equal to three, it is one. Here signal is zero, so it will be zero. Simplify this. That is one plus four plus three. It will become eight. Now let me take for n equal to two. For n equal to two, so again shift this signal towards right by one position. So now this will appear at zero. So at zero, it will be minus one. Here it will be one. Here it will be two. Again, here it will be one. That is zero, one, two, three. Now we have to multiply. This is h of two minus k signal. We have to multiply h of two minus k signal with x of k. So at n equal to zero, it is one. This will be y of two. That is one into n equal to zero. It is minus one plus at n equal to one. It is two. Into here it is one plus at n equal to two it is three into two three into two plus at n equal to three it is one one into one one into one that is here we have minus one plus two plus six plus one which is again eight. Now for n equal to three, that is for n equal to three, so this will become h of three minus k. This will be h of three minus k. H of three minus k, which is obtained by shifting this towards right. So this sample will appear at one. So it will be minus one, one, two. One. This will be one, two, three, and four. Let me write y of three. 
so y of 3 is equal to we have again we have to multiply h of 3 minus k with x of k at n equal to 0 it is 1 here it is 0 so it will be 0 plus at n equal to 1 it is 2 here it is minus 1 that is 2 into minus 1 plus n equal to 2 3 into 1 plus here at n equal to 2 at n equal to 3 here it is 1 here it is 2 that is 1 into 2 n equal to 4 there is no sample so we'll simplify this we have minus 2 plus 3 plus 2 which is equal to 3 so for n equal to 3 the value is 3 now consider for n equal to 4 let this be for n equal to 4 it will be h of 4 minus k so this can be obtained by shifting this towards right by one position that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 now the signal begins from n equal to 2 so at n equal to 2 it will be minus 1 here it is 1 2 1 that is 1 2 1 the values are this is 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 now multiply h of 4 minus k with x of k so at n equal to 0 1 there is a signal but here it is 0 so it will start from 2 at n equal to 2 its value is 3 that is y of 4 is equal to 3 into n equal to 2 it is minus 1 now at n equal to 3 its value is 1 1 into n equal to 3 it is 1 so here 4 5 exist but here it is 0 therefore it will be 0 so simplify this we have minus 3 plus 1 is equal to minus 2 now for n equal to 5 that is for n equal to 5 that is h of 5 minus k shift this towards right so signal start from 3 that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it will begin from 3 it 3 minus 1 here it is 1 here it will be 2 and here it will be 1 now again we have, we have to multiply h of 5 minus k with x of k here the signal begins from 3 at 3 its value is 1 that is y of 5 is equal to 1 into minus 1 so only one sample will appear because for 3 onwards it is 0 so here there is a signal but during multiplication it will become 0 so y of 5 will be minus 1 so now if we take n equal to 6 this signal will start from 4 so that there is no overlap between this signal and this signal so all the values will be 0 now we have to stop this process as I said the range of n for output sequence is 0 to 5 is done now we have to take one more value that is minus 1 that is now we take n equal to minus 1 that is for n equal to minus 1 it will be h of minus 1 minus k so h of minus 1 minus k is obtained by shifting h of minus k towards left by one position that is shifting this signal towards left by one position so let me draw that so it will be so at 0 1 will appear so this is 1 here we have 2 we have 1 and here we have minus 1 that is 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so therefore let me write y of minus 1 will be equal to again we have to multiply h of minus 1 minus k with x of k so at n equal to 0 the value is 1 here at n equal to 0 value is 1 1 into 1 is equal to 1 so now on left side there are there is no any samples so multiplication will become 0 so we will get only one sample so y of minus 1 is 1 thus we found the y of n values let me represent y of n sequence therefore i can write y of n is equal to we have y of minus 1 is 1 
and we have what n equal to 0 it is 4 n equal to 1 it is 8 n equal to 2 is 8 n equal to 3 is 3 n equal to 4 is minus 2 n equal to 5 is minus 1 so here this is the arrow mark this is minus 1 to plus 5 so this is the output signal for the LTI system y of n when we can represent this that is I can write y of n here it will be n at n equal to 0 the value is 4 here it is 8 we have 8 we have 3 minus 2 minus 1 at n equal to minus 1 it is 1 that is minus 1 1 2 3 4 this is 5 so this is the output sequence y of n thank you for watching